Impact frames have started to become somewhat of a trend in anime and cartoon shows in the past couple of years and naturally, when something looks cool on screen, developers will try to replicate it. We got series like Jujutsu Kaisen, One Piece and even Dragon Ball making use of impact frames. And in the Roblox platform, a lot of games are using impact frames. A couple of games I can tell of right off the bat that they use impact frames are Jujutsu Shenanigans, Strongest Battlegrounds and Real Seas. And I'm sure that I can find more if I look for them, but those are just the ones I can remember right now. There's a trend on sort of like how devs do their impact frames that is not talked about at all in the YouTube space. So hopefully this video helps out people trying to learn how to do this. All right, so the premise for this video is I'm going to show you how to do impact frames like the big games do. I've done a video on impact frames, but since then I've learned a new way to make impact frames that look way better. So last time that we did impact frames, we used highlights combined with color correction to achieve the effect of an impact frame. The downside to this is that it looks kind of boring and kind of pale. It has no sauce, if you know what I'm saying. Now, if you look at Jujutsu Shenanigans Black Flash Impact Frame, for example, you'll notice that it's kind of different to what we did in the last video. Most impact frames that are done in the platform are somewhat see-through. Like, you can see the world around you ever so slightly, and it's more of like flashing lights rather than an actual impact frame. And it actually hurts less to watch, and it looks more appealing as well, since it's not just white light flashing in your face. I'll explain to you how this works. It's very easy. You just gotta prepare accordingly before you actually get to the script. What do I mean by this we're first gonna create each frame we want for the impact frame using color correction effect instances and we're gonna use this for the background of the actual like impact frame in my case here I'm trying to replicate Gojo's first Halo purple impact frames. It's barely noticeable, but if you take a close look, it's almost like a bright purple light and the outline of Gojo's drawing is colored purple, at least in the first part. Then everything turns black and you can only see the white outline of Gojo's drawing. And then finally, it turns back to the purple light impact frame from the beginning. Now, some of you might say, well, what if that is not really an impact frame? Those are just flashing lights. And to that, I'll say go for So it has three parts. So I created three different color correction effect instances instances in the lighting service and then rename them to if1 if2 and if3 if stands for impact frames of course if you've never created color correction effect instances before then it's just like any other instance go to lighting click the plus icon search color correction and you should see it right there so just click on it and voila you've created a color correction effect instance now we gotta make sure all of these look how we want them to look briefly explain color correction instances let us mess around with the lighting of our game this lets us put lenses over our game so we can achieve cool lighting effects when you want to add like a colored lighting i recommend you not to go any lower than minus one in saturation since after that it starts changing the intended color i think contrast is how much people are gonna be able to see your structures or the world around you despite the lighting and brightness is self-explanatory now anyways you can experiment with this to get the effect that you want that's the only part of the job that i can really help you with since it's going to change depending on what you're going for but if you stay until the end, I'll show you how to do the black and white and then how to invert it into white and black. I guess that's what it will be called, right? Yeah, I suck at jokes, you don't gotta tell me. So the first and last frame in my case look pretty much the same, but I modified the last one so the surroundings look a little bit more noticeable. Now all we gotta do is the second one. For the black one, all we gotta do is set the color to black and then that's our second frame. So now we have the backgrounds for the first, second, and third impact frame. Now for the actual outlines of the character we're gonna use highlights highlights are things that color our whole character by just being inside of the model i guess that's the easiest way to put it it highlights the character with a certain color but also a very cool feature is that you can also have an outline color for the highlight i created a highlight and put it inside this dummy as an example so that you can see what it does and what a highlight is but we're actually gonna create it through the script so now we go to wherever you trigger the impact frames and you're gonna write this code that i have over here but don't worry i explain everything in this code here so that you understand it i'm not just gonna have you copy it with no explanation forget about anything above or under this code since that's a completely different system this is the code that triggers 
triggers the impact frames so that's where i want your eyes to be to the real ones that watch my videos yes i redeemed myself i learned how to use coroutines we're not going to talk about that so first you get the lighting service and all your different color corrections for different frames and that's what we did at the start over here then the next thing i did was to create the highlight we're going to be using for the character in the impact frames you do that by doing instance.new highlight and put that inside of a variable of course next set the parent of the highlight to the character of the player this is very important otherwise you won't be able to see your highlight this has transparency properties for both the fill and the outline so set both equal to zero so it's not transparent at all at the start and now we can start coding the actual impact frame if one is the first impact frame in the lighting so you go ahead and enable it make sure that all your other impact frames are disabled before this i actually forgot to mention that and after you enable this in the script now you gotta recolor the highlight to what we want the character to look like the first and last frames have purple outlines so we change the outline color property of the highlight to purple and for visual purposes we're gonna set the fill color to white it just looks better this way make it weigh 0.1 seconds or whatever amount you want this first frame to last Blue ears, you should use task don't worry bro shut show after that wait we disable the first frame and we enable the second one i changed the highlights outline color to white and the fill color to black since that's what we're going for in this second frame made it wait half of the amount weighted in the previous frame because that's how it's actually in the go you seen this frame lasts way less it's way less noticeable than the bright purple ones and then i disabled the second impact frame enabled the third one recolored the outline to purple again and the fill to white again but i set the outline transparency to 0.5 since at zero it kind of stand it out a little bit too much in my opinion of course you can mess around with this and experiment with this in your code as you please and finally i made it wait 0.15 seconds before disabling the last impact frame impact frame 3 and also destroying the player's highlight because we don't want the to be visible after the effect is done right and that's it if you test now you're gonna see that you got pretty much the same effect as me mess around with the colors contrast brightness and saturation to see what each do and learn how to use this better but yeah that's basically the video now i'll show you how to make black and white and what can what can black <laughs> i'll show you how to make black and white and white and black impact frames yes we're calling it that all right so this would be black and white and this would be white and black as you can see it's kind of inverted right so for the black and white all i did was contrast 10 saturation minus one and make sure this is minus one and the color is white yes the color has to be white or else it won't look the same and for white and black I did contrast minus 10, saturation minus 1, and color white. So the only thing that changes is the contrast. And that's it. Now you know how to create black and white and white and black lighting for impact frame. And yeah, hopefully this video helps you out a bit. I apologize for not uploading last week. I had to do some military service and spent 72 hours with no sleep and standing up pretty much 100% of the time. No cap and no exaggerations. So I kind of spent last week recovering. You know me, I hate missing uploads. But sometimes life just gets in the way. This said, keep leveling up, bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace